As alt season finally arrived, let's go ahead and discuss. So hey everyone, welcome back to Upside Down Data. I think anytime you see an asset like here, XRP, going up 73% in a day, you know, the question comes up, are we back in an alt season? Are alts gonna suddenly start performing well, you know, versus what had been happening in the past where they really have been underperforming Bitcoin? So of course, the reason why XRP did this, and there's a very clear reason why XRP rallied 73% was that there was a favorable ruling in the XRP SEC lawsuit. So basically, it was ruled that the sales or transactions of XRP on exchanges were not securities, or at least that's what the judge ruled. And that was a big deal for the crypto space. And obviously, the market took it very well. XRP went absolutely crazy. So it did some others. And this news not only affects XRP, but it affects altcoins more generally. You know, obviously the SEC brought a lawsuit against Coinbase. And the basis, the main basis of that lawsuit was that Coinbase was selling securities without being registered to do so. But of course, this kind of this XRP ruling is has implications for that Coinbase uh, ruling because it suggests that, you know, if XRP sold on exchanges weren't securities, and maybe that means that all the alts that the SEC accuses Coinbase of, you know, putting on the exchange as being uh, securities aren't. Because, you know, if XRP wasn't, then why are these other altcoins necessarily? So this has kind of been seen as a boon for the crypto space more generally, because not only is it, you know, maybe providing a bit more clarity with XRP specifically, but also altcoins generally. And here in this article, you can see that the, the legal counsel for Coinbase is basically saying that this decision helps their case. This is a good news for them and it increases the likelihood or, or basically just makes their case stronger. And I think the market generally is, is seeing that as being the case as well. So if we just look at Bitcoin dominance, so this is the proportion of the total crypto market cap that Bitcoin makes up, we can see it absolutely nosedived yesterday, you know, down 2.6%, you know, really falling down pretty quickly. And that's basically because all coins started really outperforming Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin didn't actually move all that much during that time, we just flip over to Bitcoin here. It did have a nice move up, did actually put in a close above this range, but now it's still kind of consolidating around here is up about 3.5%, which was much smaller than what happened for a lot of altcoins. And that's why you're seeing this really collapse of Bitcoin dominance. And something I'd actually mentioned um, before, uh, a week or so ago, to the Polarity Digital Pro members. So that's our Polarity Digital Pro subscription service at our website, polaritydigital.io. Link in the description if you're interested in that. So what I had said is that at this point, the Bitcoin dominance bulls have been getting a bit too euphoric. You know, it had really been running off to the upside. And the people who are out there saying that, you know, Bitcoin dominance is just gonna keep going up, 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 up. They're getting a little bit too euphoric. The sentiment was a little bit too optimistic on Bitcoin, too bearish on altcoins. And so that's why I said, that some mean reversion now would actually make sense. That for a lot of altcoins, it makes sense for there to be some mean reversion back to the upside sometime soon. Now, obviously, I didn't know the exact catalyst that would propel that, but then here we got it. So this XRP ruling was really the catalyst that enabled that mean reversion to start happening. And so if you look at assets that had been um, labeled as securities by the SEC in their Coinbase lawsuit, a lot of them did very well um, yesterday or yesterday and today. So this is Solana. You know, Solana rallied 18% yesterday, 18.6%. And then now it's currently up 7.3% today, but you can see the wick, it went up quite a bit higher than that, up to around $32. And also see Matic, you know, Polygon. That was another asset that was called the security by the SEC. It also rallied, you know, 17.5% yesterday. Nice move to the upside. And generally speaking in the market, we just saw this happening. Now with all these different assets that have been labeled as securities, by the SEC in the Coinbase lawsuit and elsewhere, a lot of them put in nice moves to the upside, both against the dollar, but also against Bitcoin. So this is Matic, the Matic Bitcoin valuation here. And what you can see is that we've, we looks like we're getting this very nice double bottom structure for Matic against Bitcoin. And it's really started to move back up, you know, ever since really kind of late June, but then really yesterday up 13.5% against Bitcoin there quite impressive move. And this was the kind of mean reversion that I was talking about, was that we're getting to a point where things are getting, sentiment had flipped so bearish against altcoins relative to Bitcoin, it made sense for there to be at least some short-term mean reversion to the upside. And that's exactly what we're seeing here, being catalyzed by the XRP move. And so really what I would expect is that for a lot of these assets that have been called securities by the SEC, 
that there now is kind of a, a headwind that's been lifted at least partially from them. Now, obviously, the XRP ruling is not the end all be all. You know, this is not law. It's not that this is guaranteed to mean that no altcoins could ever be called securities in the future. But it's a good it's a good sign. Basically, it's a sign that it's possible to beat the SEC in court. It's possible for these assets to be recognized as not being securities, at least in terms of secondhand transactions happening on exchanges. And that is just a good sign for crypto in general. And so obviously, as I said, I think it's important to be clear about kind of how uh, broad this ruling is and that this really is a, a one specific ruling in one specific case. But it's, it's what it symbolizes, that I think the market's really uh, picking up on, that it just suggests that this is possible. So even though this is not settled, it doesn't mean that all altcoins now just have total clear regulatory clarity. At least it's a good step in the right direction. I think that's what this is suggesting. So that's why I think with a lot of these assets that were called securities by the SEC, it would not surprise me if, you know, going forward, it's easier for them to move back to the upside, certainly easier than it was before. The kind of the ground has shifted. I think more broadly in the crypto market, what we might see is that we had been in a, in a, a paradigm where really Bitcoin was just outperforming everything. It was just kind of going on a terror against everything really moving to the upside. And frankly, the conditions kind of warranted that. You know, we had this massive kind of cloud hanging over altcoins, the SEC coming down, calling them securities with no real signs of relief coming. But now we've gotten that first sign of potential relief for altcoins. And so the ground has started to shift. So the narrative had been that, you know, altcoins are just going to keep bleeding against Bitcoin. You know, why would you ever touch them? And, you know, that's something I mentioned here on this channel as well. And I think up until this point, that was very much warranted and that was exactly what was happening. But now the ground is starting to shift. And so I think that kind of by default, the confidence in that thesis that Bitcoin just gonna keep outperforming alts, you know, going forward, almost necessarily has to be less confidence in that thesis now than there was before this happened. Doesn't mean that it can't happen and that in general, Bitcoin might still remain strong against altcoins kind of as a basket. But I do think that there's a much, a significantly improved probability that altcoins now might be able to actually, you know, find bottoms, stop, just continue bleeding against Bitcoin to the same degree that they had given this ruling. And again, this is just step one. So this is not to mean that that's necessarily my base case that altcoins are now gonna have this massive alt, uh, you know, alt season that they're just gonna completely rip against Bitcoin for a protracted period. But certainly I don't think it's the case anymore that we can be as certain that Bitcoin is just gonna to continue to outperform everything. I think now is a place where being a little bit more agnostic or, or being more open-minded about that makes a lot of sense. And you're gonna see people continue to be, stick their heels in the mud and say, nope, Bitcoin's just gonna keep on going. This doesn't matter. They might be right, but I personally think that maintaining that same level of confidence is probably not warranted. So obviously not financial advice, but that's just what I'm looking at right here. Now, the final thing I wanted to talk about that's also relevant is just what's going on in broader markets in terms of if we think can altcoins continue to perform decently, not just against Bitcoin, but also against the dollar. And one of the things that's been notable the last few days is kind of coincident to that XRP ruling. We've also seen the NASDAQ break out of resistance, you know, here at this around 15.2K range, you know, going off to the upside here. We also see the S&P 500 continue to march higher. Um, the well, Dow Jones is still kind of up at resistance, but it has not been clearly rejected off here. And then also importantly, the dollar has been absolutely dumping here. And we know that in general, kind of historically speaking, generally speaking, the dollar has been inversely correlated with Bitcoin and crypto generally. And the dollar is doing well, crypto does poorly. When the dollar does poorly, crypto tends to do better. And so this is what you'd like to see. You know, it broke down below this kind of support range here at around 100. It's now trading below 100. That is, you know, a good sign. Um, for crypto more generally. And so really what I wanted to, to say here is that the broader markets are right now not really giving a reason to be a headwind for crypto. They're in fact bullish. In fact, crypto is kind of lagging, at least if you think about um, Bitcoin. You know, Bitcoin is still kind of stuck in this range that it had been in while we see, you know, the NASDAQ rallying above resistance moving to the upside. So Bitcoin kind of is behind. But at the very least, we're not seeing the stock market holding crypto back. And so that's where if we're going to have that idea of can altcoins at least have some continued mean reversion here, you know, after being so brutalized, you know, not just against the dollar, but especially, you know, against Bitcoin, I think that we're seeing a, a pretty decent setup for that to be to potentially happen. A very bullish catalyst in terms of the XRP news, 
not really particular headwinds in the macro space in just terms of what's going on in the stock market and with the dollar. It seems like if, if there's going to be a mean reversion, this is about where you'd expect it. So it doesn't mean it's going to be up only, obviously. And I think the market got a little bit ahead of itself yesterday. And so some consolidation makes a lot of sense today. Things kind of selling back, people taking profits. But I think more generally, the, the sentiment has shifted to some degree. So it wouldn't surprise me if we see altcoins continue to perform well. Frankly, it wouldn't also surprise me to see Bitcoin be able to finally break above this range to the upside and move up. Now, you know, this is all assuming that there's no kind of new news that comes out that really takes us in the other direction. Anything is possible. But I think just looking at the conditions right now, things are looking pretty reasonable. And the other thing we can also just take into consideration here is that with a lot of altcoins, so this I'm looking at Matic here, we look at the risk profile for Matic. So this is the long-term risk. So basically in the kind of months to years time frame, was the realistic upside relative to downside for Matic. You can see how low it had gotten. You know, it had gotten all the way down here, negative, you know, 3.5. You know, the last time it did that was all the way back here in June of 22, which marked a major bottoming point. It would not surprise me, again, just given that and given the fact that those headwinds from the SEC have been, you know, mitigated, not completely removed, but have been certainly mitigated by the XRP news, would not surprise me for us to be able to see another, you know, move to the upside, not just for Matic, but for a lot of other alts as well. So obviously none of this is financial advice, you know, you should make your own opinion. But this is big news for the crypto space. This marks uh, one of the first times that we've really see, seen, and certainly in the more recent, you know, in the last year or so, the, with the SEC getting so aggressive, the crypto uh, industry getting a pretty notable victory and having the SEC not just have it all their way and a judge actually saying that no, in these contexts, these secondhand sales, XRP is not a security. It doesn't meet the Howey test. That's a big deal in my opinion. And you know, this is not settled law. This is not saying this is just gonna always be the way that it is and the SEC can't win in the future and you know, get favorable rulings. But this is a pretty, you know, right now, this was pretty good. It was not the absolute best we could have gotten, but it was pretty darn close to being one of the better rulings we could have gotten on this. Um, at least based on all the legal you know, analysis I've seen. You know, I'm no legal expert. I, you know, I, I leave it up to you to go in and seek out um, you know, analysis from people who are more experts you know, to get a more full understanding of this ruling and what it means. But my take based on everything I've seen is that it's been a, it's a pretty big win and a pretty great first step. So it didn't surprise me that the market reacted the way it did. All right, so if you're interested in the Quarity Digital Pro um, service, you know, where you get access to live data from you know, all of our different models, UDPI, our forecast model, et cetera, for Bitcoin, Matic, and a bunch of other different assets. Go over to our website, quartydigital.io. Currently only $15 a month to sign up for the pro subscription, which we think is an absolute steal. And then of course, if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us on Twitter, a lot of updates, better indicators, and more over there.